This trap has a powerful spring and six sharp spikes, three on either side, almost like a pitchfork that will impale the mole as it goes through the tunnel. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna test out the Victor Deadset Mole Trap. This style of trap has been around a long time. The modern one's made out of plastic, but back as early as the 1890s, they were making all metal versions of the same trap design that's been appearing in hardware store catalogs for over 120 years. But any trap design that has been around for that long must work well. To set the trap, it's pretty simple. First, you have to locate an underground mole tunnel. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Then you place the trap over the tunnel with the larger spikes on either side. The tunnel will travel through here and the smaller spikes will go down in it, but not when it's set. We'll lift those up. This part will be below ground and this part above ground. Now right here is a trigger. When the mole goes through there and pushes up the trigger, it releases a spring and they go down and impale the mole. To set it, you place your foot on either side and push it down to this level. Then you pull back the spring. Usually you do this in the upright position, but for the camera, I'll try it on the side. We'll pull back the handle, and when it's set, you'll hear it click into place. At this point, you have to be very careful with the trap. Treat it like a loaded gun. You could get impaled with the spikes or hit with the handle going down. There's a lot of ways you could get hurt. To test it out, I'm gonna show you with a stuffed animal. Here's a stuffed mole. We'll pretend this is a tunnel. Pretend the mole's going down there. It pushes up the lever as it goes through. Oh, and when it does, it gets a spike right on the body. It looks like the trap's gonna work well, but we're gonna test it out in my yard. Lately, it's been snowing, but we're still having moles pushing up snow and dirt. So let's go out there and set up the trap. So here's a fresh mole hill popping up through the snow. This mole is active in the winter. We're gonna dig down with our hori hori knife, find a tunnel and set the trap. Can fill a soft spot right in the middle here. And actually this tunnel is running this way. I can see it. So I'm gonna clear off some of the sod and then we're gonna set the trap. It's right below the surface. We'll push this down. I wanna make sure the spikes are free. So I'm gonna push them up and down. That should work. We'll go ahead and set it. Now we're ready for the mole to travel through the tunnel, push up the dirt, and the spikes will go down. We can tell when we caught a mole because this handle will be flush with the top of the trap. Well, it's been about a week. The snow's almost melted, all gone. But one thing I learned about trapping moles in the winter is patience is a virtue. They're not as active as they are in the summertime, but when I checked it this morning, I saw the trap was set off. So hopefully last night, a mole traveled through the tunnel, hit the trigger, and got caught. We'll pull out our trap. Oh, we got a mole. It's a pretty big one too. The trap performed perfectly when set correctly. It's a great design. I can see why it's been around for over a hundred years. On this channel, I test out every pest trap I can get my hands on. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.